channel coming out later on today well maybe tomorrow which won't be on here it will be on hugotalks.com website come and subscribe to get notifications of all videos if you don't want to miss them okay so anyway we've got tesco now i saw this a few weeks back and i can't remember if i did a video on it or not i don't think i did but i thought i would bring it up now as i saw a number of tweets in relation to it yesterday and very much like amazon Tesco are of course a new world order company and corporation who are engaging in practices that put them at the tip of the spear. It is these companies that are leading the charge. Here we see a number of recent tweets regarding a store in Chancery Lane, London. Just went into Tesco on Chancery Lane. They're telling me it's an app only store like you need the app to use it. Bro, the world is going mad. Here is another from yesterday. Just tried to pop into the Tesco Express on Chancery Lane. Employee at the entrance asked if I had a Tesco app. And when I said I didn't, he replied I couldn't use the store and wasn't allowed in. Okay, I'll go and spend my money elsewhere. What kind of crazy is this Tesco? And here we see some replies. It's a members only shop. The app is free. What's the problem? Says this clown. Well, what if you don't have a phone? What if you are disabled? What if you don't want to download a crappy app? How many shops do you use? For example, do you want to download an app for every store and for every interaction you make? Just in case, just in case you didn't realize, this is preparation for the mark. You know, the mark of the beast? You know that thing in the book of Revelation? You know, the bit where it says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had that mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which is 666, yeah? You know that bit. It's not that yet, but this is in preparation for it. That's what they are doing. And if you shop with them and support them, you are aligning yourself with that. Here is another reply to that tweet. I guess those people could just go to one of the many, many other stores within like a minute of that one. There are so many other stores on that road. Come on, right? So this person's attitude is, what are you complaining about? Just don't shop there. Go to one of the many other stores. A fair enough point you may ask. And that is valid for the time being. But what about when all of the other stores start doing it? A good example of this is this reply here who states there is another store nearby but look what he says there is an amazon fresh at the junction of chancery lane and high holborn that is open to 11 about 100 yards from the tesco express that became checkout free last october but that is also checkout free as well so you need to sign into an app to shop there at amazon so there is another store nearby but you also have to have an app to use that one as well or have a mark of some kind that allows you in and it just so happens to be amazon yeah you support these companies at your peril i mean when did shops in the past turn away business here is another wow so a shopper in dublin queries why denied entry into tesco chancery lane as she doesn't have their app and the official response is to paste a link to a press release Read some dystopian experiment that happened in London. I will do my best to never shop at any Tesco again. And this is the link to the response. Tesco opens new checkout free store, get go. And there is your Black Mirror device with the mark on it, the mark that you need to go into the shop. It's a QR code and the QR code or mark, it says above it, you must scan to enter the store. So I see people in the comments, they are like, you know, they're dismissing this. Hey man, come on, it's just one store. It's just an exp it's just an experiment, yeah? It's only the one store. But why do you think they are in engaging in this experiment? It's a trial because they want to roll it out everywhere eventually. Why do you think Amazon are spearheading this? It's because it's the mark. That's why from that book, as prophesied in the Bible, 
that book that so many people, they don't believe in it. People are like, oh, I don't believe in that God, Jesus, mumbo jumbo. Come on, get real. You believe in a fairy tale man, a fairy tale man in the sky. Don't be so ridiculous, they say. That's what they say as all of this is unfolding in front of them. As clear as day. All that is going on. Is it all just a coinky dink? Is it that it lines up with revelation? Dream on. So many people have their heads in the sand. They've been groomed to not ask questions. Don't realize that much of what we see today in mainstream culture is camouflaged. Most of what we see today in mainstream culture and in modern society is in effect basically ancient rituals and practices that have been around for thousands of years but have now become more effective because they have been streamlined by the use of technology and media propaganda fashionable trends celebrity culture and influences are used to make people think it is something okay or cool to do and so many more people with the aid of smartphones and gadgets can be herded together to do the same thing at the same time, whether it's pharmakia, music festivals, flashing lights, black mirror devices used for channeling messages to people and so much, much more. Technology and culture has been used to disguise ancient rituals that are collectively aligning people with darkness. And that is why when you look around today, it all seems very grim. And it's the widespread ignorance of this that is allowing this darkness to grow. Supporting these organizations and shopping with them is aligning yourself with that movement. As it says in the Bible, take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to HugoTalks.com website. We'll be uploading on the site more and more often. So subscribe if you want to get notifications and I'll see you later.